Hi guys, welcome back to Game Jube Discussions. We are here with our first impressions on the PS5, uh, the newest uh, next-gen console. So yeah, we thought we'd have our little discussion and first thoughts with you guys. So please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you've been missing some discussions. And let's get to it. Yeah, so we've had the PlayStation 5 for 48 hours now. Yes. And we've played it and made a lot of content on it. Oh, yeah. But um, it's only going to be this video, like a discussion I want to get together on just first impressions. Like, we're not going to yeah. give it yeah. like a review or anything. I don't or a think... deep dive. Yeah, well, first nah. of all, we're not spec kind of people. I don't, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? But <laughs> nah. we've also not spent nearly enough time with it to, to give a full judgment. A full but, depth. Yeah, I just wanted yeah. to get together with you guys and get your first initial thoughts, first impressions of it. What you like, what you don't like. We'll talk about what it looks like, okay. how it runs, the UI, mm -hmm. uh, some of the launch games. How we'll go through, feels. Mm -hmm. yeah, how it feels and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, so we'll go around and I guess we'll just give our first sort of quick overview. What What do you think about it, Nick? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I like it. Mm -hmm. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's big. really big. It's big boy. Hefty. It's hefty, but um, I think from what we've done right now, the sound and stuff it's putting out, like next to no fan sound, like I like this oh, yeah. design. Fan sound. And I think it's necessary that it needs to be this big. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I like it. What about you, Jade? Yeah, I think it's really sleek and modern, personally, while still being just kind of not too bold mm. and crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the I like the design. I yeah. do think it like I understand if people don't, but I kind of like I like the white white and black sort of mix aesthetic. I like that they went with a bold choice, and I like that the the controllers and all the accessories oh, yeah. match it. Like yeah. you know, I like how they kind of they kind of matchy matchy. Yeah, they went in for it and mm -hmm. stuck with it. But, but um, but yeah, that's probably my big thing it it is really big like a lot more bigger <laughs> than I could. but but i do like the look of it and the overall sort of vibe of the playstation 5 mm -hmm. but um yeah we'll jump into we'll start with positives we always try to start with positives yeah. but um yeah one of my biggest positives i i can't hear the thing which is Crazy. totally different from sounding right. like a jet engine which everybody's <laughs> talked about it at length oh yeah the playstation 4 loud. is so loud and it gets really hot and loud but yeah. i we've played uh for probably like 10 hours on end, like straight yeah. without stopping, yeah. whether we're going from Demon Souls to Spider-Man and all Sack these sort of games yeah. to Sackboy oh, yeah. and, and running it like with Call of Duty, Cold War now. Mm -hmm. yep. And um, I can't hear it. And it's it's really, really, but I don't Completely know. Completely silent. But yeah, I think that's probably why it's so big. But um, yeah, yes, and, that's, yes. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to bring up as well. And the fact that it's like, it's silent now, but time will tell if maybe it gets a little bit more noisy with dust and stuff. But mm. the fact that they've got those vacuum parts that I really like now. Yeah. I'm I, hoping I, that does a lot of heavy lifting. I, I, I reckon so. But also even the big heat sink at the back, like the big ribs at the back is what like controls a lot of the heat Yes, as well, mm. which is what we're pro probably why we're not hearing that fan. But yeah. like I said, we're not techie, we're not specky, but for, for now, it's very silent. Yeah, I no, like that's that. the I like that about it. The biggest, the two biggest things, you know, initially you notice how big it is. Yeah. yeah. And then when you turn it on, you start playing, it's like, uh, besides some of the things that we'll get into, like the haptic feedback uh, yes. on the controllers oh, yeah. and things, I think the biggest thing I noticed was how silent, silent. it was. And mm -hmm. it's like... It was almost jarring. Yeah, well, it's like, if you turn yeah. around, uh, you're grabbing some food, you go read your ad, I'm like, is it off? Like, I don't even know if it's yeah. on, you know, it's well, that silent. That's the thing, the funny thing that happened to, with me and you, you were like... You were hearing the computer fan, and yeah. you thought, and you're, you're like, laptop. you're like, you're like, yeah. yeah, like the laptop and the computer fan. You're like, oh wait, yeah, it's not, it's not the PS5. <laughs> yeah, which is a yeah. big departure. Yeah, but um, mm. but yeah, what about you guys? Anything just, just on base level, like not inside the the system when turning it on? Just you, do you guys, do, how do you feel about the bigness, Jade? Oh, I love the bigness. You no, like I it? um, I I'm find it that it could easily be a huge inconvenience for some people mm. but yeah. luckily we do have a big enough console area yeah, yeah. in our lounge room mm -hmm. but i totally get how it could be like god dang for mm. some people it's it's, it's imposing yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and you know maybe if you only have like a desk set up or you've only got like a, a small lounge room or a mm. gaming room um and it can take up a lot of your space that you want to put multiple machines on or anything then mm. that could be a little inconvenient and i totally get yeah. that and yeah so i i can totally see how that would be mm. very difficult for a lot of people mm -hmm. so it, it's also good to preface that we have an xbox series s we tried to get the x but we couldn't no. so we don't know we don't have any comparison to the other next gen Size console no. because next to the s it is marginally bigger <laughs> yeah. but maybe next to, maybe it next to the x it, yeah. it might not be next to the x because it doesn't yeah. feel too big but um but no, yeah no. I, I was a little bit stunned at how big it was but i like the design i like mm -hmm. it uh yeah. upright 
Lying yeah. as horizontally yeah. does look a little wonky. Yeah. I like it upright though. I think it Especially looks Especially because we have the disc version. Yes. Yeah. But um, I like it upright. I like the look of it. I like the indent. And, and as we've talked about before, and they've uh, already talked about it a ton, which is like the little X's, circles, oh and squares, God. and triangles inside the. The plate. That's such a cool design that they, they did not have to do. Yeah. yeah. And it's, also on, the, it's yeah. also on the back of the controllers as well. Yes, yes, We'll yes. get into that. But, but, yeah. um, but, yeah, so I really like that. But now I guess we'll jump into... So we kind of just talked about the, the, the system itself, but getting yeah. into it, turning it on. How do you guys mm-hmm. feel about the layout of the UI and everything in between with that? Smooth. Mm-hmm. It's smooth. It's there's no there's next to no loading times. It's great. It's, and also the, the fact that the PS5 store is integrated. Yeah, yeah, it's straight, really good. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm digging. It. I think it's a big improvement. Yeah. Definitely. What about you, Jake? Um, I think some things that stand out for me is the quality of the UI. Uh, the image. Yeah. The image. Yeah, oh, yeah. and the yeah. sharpness yeah. and the detail. It looks really good. I, I think <laughs> it all looks so high detailed, uh, high quality. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is being able to do the right bumper to media. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so happy about that. That's really handy for me because um, I love switching from YouTube back to games, back to Netflix. Back to another game to so yeah. i really yeah. appreciate that uh instead of scrolling across to the tv icon you literally just write bumper and you're at all your watching needs as mm-hmm. opposed to games yeah no i, like I agree that. i think the ui is a big improvement i wasn't crazy on the ps4 one but i think mm-hmm. the ps5 was it's really good mm-hmm. i think it's all super sleek and super like it's just convenient right convenient. it makes everything faster everything easier like the media is in the right on the right trigger and you can go back and forth between exactly. your games and media i think where you have your downloads and to get to that and just to see them is so much easier instead yeah. of going to your notifications and having oh, to see yeah. it that way. As Nick said, a massive game changer yeah. is the PSN integrated store, yeah. which is just super easy and convenient. Get straight into it. It's, it's it's way less clunky waiting for it. But um, same with the media. Like you jump straight to the media instead of having to click into uh, the load. app and then it loads and then it's in. It always felt yeah. a bit slow. Maybe that's because we had a PS4 Pro and we used it a ton mm-hmm. and it became slow over, <laughs> over time. But jumping from... A, a well-used PS4 Pro mm. to a PS5 it is a massive difference, and as, as Jade said, like a base model PS4. Yeah, PS4. But, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. my base model PS4 yeah. going to this. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but even what Jade referenced, like the image quality is really cool. Oh, it's crisp, and especially yeah. in the fact that like you, you, we, we have like a say Assassin's Creed Valhalla in particular. Mm-hmm. We we have got that on the PS5, and when you hover over the game, it shows the image, the wallpaper, yeah. and it's so detailed on like Eivor or even Miles. Uh, the PSN store shows Miles or like relevant games. Yeah, and I shop. It, it does. It looks really good. We just got a brand new uh, 4K Sony Bravia TV, mm-hmm. and it looks jarringly good. It you does. See every mm. pore. And mm. we, we were worried it was going to be outstretched for like just the UI. Like we were worried it was going to be a little bit like maybe unclear. But we were surprised mm. or, like, that it was. Look silly. Because, or... because we have like because it's a gigantically big TV. We yeah, it's have. Eight, 85 yeah. inch. <laughs> Not to flex or anything. But, but, yeah. like, but that's the thing. It's like yeah, it actually looked really nice, crisp and clean. Like even when you get straight up to it, you know what I mean? No, yeah. it does. Yeah. It does look really good. I like all the music. I like the whole vibe. Yeah. And uh, Sony, Chill. Sony kind of went for that. Like uh, you'd almost say it's like kind of the the they're too into themselves at this point with that yeah. whole, like, I, but I think it works for them yeah you know I know was what I mean? so like, surprised by that I was not expecting that just when you hover over a game it starts playing the relevant music to that game I was yeah. very surprised mm. by that I only feel like not for, not for all games but it does for some yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but or like the PlayStation exclusive ones, just yeah, like they yeah. have the Marvel intro for the games. We'll get into the games. Oh, right? damn. Yeah. But it's said like it's, cool. it's it's kind of over excessive, but it is the PlayStation Five. In my opinion, like my first impressions is I really like it. There's some things like I think it is a little big. I would have liked it a little smaller, but I like it a lot. But um, kind of getting to that overall feel of like it feels like they're trying to give you this premium experience. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? But anyways, we'll jump into let's jump into loading screens because I think we'll just to clarify you've heard it a ton and they are very fast. Like, the loading screens are very fast. fast. We've, we've tested it with a ton of games now. Yeah. And, um, like, mainly the first-party stuff. We haven't dug into, like, all the games necessarily. Mm, we no. downloaded... I do want to test with... Yeah. Uh, I especially want to test with Crash 4 because those loading mm. screens were wildly long. Yeah. yeah. They were really long. They were, long. They were very long, So, yeah. yeah, I'd love to test it on that. Yeah, we can make a whole video of us just sitting there waiting for the loading screens. Oh, my God, we got hours of footage of yeah, just yeah, that. <laughs> but, um, but, like, even Demon Souls, like, you would touch the Archstone... Straight into the air. straight into air. it's like a, like what maybe four four or five seconds less probably less, but also yeah. you don't fathom like what's loading in the background like you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. that amount of detail just loaded up like yeah in four and, seconds. Like, wow. and Spider Man's like fast traveling is like instant yeah you know what I mean like it's, yeah. it's an instant fast travel but um 
Yeah, whatever you guys feel about loading screens, anything else that needs to be said, it's pretty clear. Like, they're very uh, fast. Yeah. Kind of just gives you no reason to go on your phone anymore now. Mm. Oh, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I find it, uh, it's such a specific thing that's beneficial for us and not for every gamer out there. But mm. for making content, that's really beneficial to have that fast loading time. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, oh. literally, like, it took so long between crash mm. levels, I find. Yeah. But it was getting jarring, right? Towards the end of PS4, some of the games are really taking long to load. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, I do think even really just... For your yeah. casual gamer, it is it, it's a it's a big welcome addition because mm. games were getting longer in the tooth, yeah. like loading screens. Like, look at Bloodborne, like that had some of the biggest load, and you yeah. die and you take a long, yeah, long load, and especially for like yeah, uh, might as well call your grandparents and see how they've been. Like <laughs> honestly, yeah. and especially for a game like they're dead because it loaded that long. <laughs> oh no! What are you saying, Nick? <laughs> I just think especially for a game like Bloodborne where you're doing a lot of you're doing a lot of grinding paths where you you know grind at enemies then go back and mm. do it again and mm, again and again and again. You're going back and forth a lot. Yeah, too long. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, Demon Souls. I think benefits greatly from it because oh, it's yeah. that kind of game, right? Oh, Where yeah. it's like instantaneous Grinding. loading. You're straight back into it. You, 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 there's that natural habit for me anyway, where I go to grab my phone in the loading stream, but I'm like, oh, let's back up. Like, yeah, like, you, know, you, you don't to, get the chance you anymore. You want to go on yeah. Twitter and stuff. You're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have like, a okay. drink, go like put the yeah. kettle on. Or oh, yeah. Call the... your grandparents. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> it loaded too fast. I had a stroke. Crash four took too long. <laughs> but, but yeah, I guess um, we'll jump into the controller before we get into the games. Yes. How do you guys feel about the dual sense? The dual sense. What do you, uh, Nick? What do you feel about it? Feels good. It feels. Can I feel? Yeah, you can have a clicky. Get my fingies there's on it. There's another one here. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got two. We, we got, got two. Yeah, yeah. Share them around. Well, there's, yeah, there's, yes, there's three. But yeah, it feels good. I like the um, like the back texture on the back. Mm. It feels like kind of. Not sweaty when you're sweating, you know what I mean? Mm. Like for us sweaty gamers. That's important. Mm. Yeah, like, you know. Because I literally, the PS4, and I'm like sliding off, especially when I'm mm. playing COD Zombies, I'm like. But yeah. also as well, it's like the flat, the flat ends you've got here as well. Great for you know, pinkies. Pinkies. They yeah. rest well. Yeah. I, I mean, surprisingly instinctively did that as I well. Actually. I instinctively do it when I hold it. Not many people will. They'll mm, wrap it around, mm. but I kind of do it like that. Yeah. As well. Dude, that's weird. Right? <laughs> no, I don't do that. No? I did it once. I do it because I feel much. like I need I to be. Like. I feel like I need to do it, but um, but yeah. But I, yeah, but I, I really like it. I initially I was like, ah, oh, it's a stormtrooper controller it's mm. chunky but i was like i've really come around before it released of course i really came around to this but yeah got a bit heft as well mm. it feels hefty yeah yeah what do you it guys does. yeah I, li I like it it's a bit it's a bit thicker than the ps4 uh mm. ps4 controller the dual shock but I, I like it a lot better. I, I think that it feels better in the hand, like yeah. the sort of like layout of it. Yeah. But um, the main things we'll get to with the triggers. <laughs> but um, the, the, the buttons feel a little bit different. Like here, they feel a little bit more Less... Xboxy, like a little squishier yeah. in a good way. There's a, yeah. little, there's a little bit of sponge. It's not mm. a, it's not but as it, cl clicky. Yeah, it doesn't feel. Yeah. Sometimes it was a bit too clicky, like a toy. Yes. Yeah, like, but yes. um, I, and it would sound really mm. bad when you're doing like, let's say mm. there's a mission and you've got to go X X X. Oh, and but, it sounds but, real. Button, button mashing was yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it made it sound really mm. toyish, like yeah. you yeah. said. Yeah, but yeah. but I like the I like this a lot. I think it's an improvement over the PS4, mm. but it's very Xboxy, right? And Xbox has a great yeah. controller. They've got a good controller. Oh, they've got a great yeah, controller. Like, yeah. And um, yeah, the like Xbox One controller is really great, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the next gen one is pretty similar because like what, you're just iterating on what has already yeah. been great. What and I think I think that PlayStation's kind of caught up. It's really Really great mm. and I, I like it you like it jade yes i Obviously love the, the detail yeah that's crazy i was initially a bit worried because i have abnormally small hands uh but it actually feels very comfortable mm. even in my teeny tiny hands mm. so i'm very happy about that um every button is close by including these start buttons sometimes with the ps4 i'd have to kind of like reach over to press it mm. i know that sounds weird small hands problems let me know if you can relate mm. um but otherwise i find it very very comfy and easy. We'll talk about the games now and like how that relates to the controller. Yeah. So we've played Astrobot. We've yes. all played yes. Astrobot yeah, and um to feel. And and look, I don't wanna I don't wanna harp on it too much because a ton of people will talk about it. But it, totally. it it is very cool. Yeah. Like yeah, the the, the haptic cool. feedback is very, very cool. And it's a good representation, like it's a good demo for the feedback. And also yeah. Astrobot is a full fledged game. Yeah, Astrobot's yeah. We'll get, Astrobot's really great. It's a fun yeah. platformer. Astrobot uh rescue mission. Was already great. Mm. Yeah, the VR one. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, that VR. But um, but yeah, it feels really good. It like it's hard to explain until you get your hands on it. But it, the trigger kind of fights back. So if like you are it. in Astrobot, you get in to like a, a like a mech, and it's like a spring mech, and you got to spring yourself up on platforms, and it will feel like a Resistance. spring. But there's yes. even like basic things like on the base of this. If you're running on metal, you hear like a ding 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 ding. Or if, you, if there's rain, you'll feel like these. In your hands, you can kind Ooh, of feel droplets. the droplets. It's you can, so detailed. Yeah, you feel the different environments you're running in, mm. and it sounds odd, but it, it, it is. And even 
they'll have like um oh, yeah, they'll have think... like an animation where multiple of the Astrobot oh, yeah. robots this... fall yeah. into what is a dual sense controller recreated on, the on screen. screen. Yeah. And then it asks you to tip it. Uh, it's like a rain stick. Like this, and and you feel the kind of individual you Astro feel, As if you like, have a rain mm. stick in your hand. And I was really impressed by that, mm. and the fact that it felt like they were like actually falling and actually yeah. piling up in the corner Down of the actual the remote. Right, yeah. right. Like, you know, it like, mm. felt like they were like, like, and like they kept piling yeah. up, but it was like, I was really impressed by it. Yeah. That was crazy. And that stuff I really love. I really love immersion yeah. and mm. stuff and, like that. And I think it, it is really well done in Astrobot. Yeah. Mm. But um, how it pertains to like main games. Is, is yet to be seen because it, it could be a gimmick that does go away and they slowly uh, distance themselves from it. Right, right? Under the six axis, right? Yeah, like but with PS3. Like exactly. Yeah. What I think is really cool is like even in Spider Man Miles Miles, it's so subtle that the swinging feels a little, mm. you feel it and it's hard to explain, but you feel it better. And Resistance. Yeah. yeah. And what about what you said with the train? So, yes, yeah. right at the start of the game, at the base here, like mm. where you feel the tippy tap of the Astro Bot's feet, I felt the. Of mm. the train, like when the track passes, mm. like a, yeah. a new track, and you feel that mm. at the bottom of my hands immediately. Mm. So. And what about when the enemy hit you in the face and it boom? Yeah, boom, someone the, actually the punched me in the face. <laughs> but, but, <yeah. laughs> really immersive. Mm. But yeah, it, it kind of ties into the whole feeling of what I feel about the PS5. Actually, you know, Nick, can you go get go get me the big boy? Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Uh, someone has mentioned on my Twitter for if you want to know, uh, it is about two jades tall. So yeah, the PlayStation Five <laughs> is two jades tall. Just it's a big, reference. it's a big boy. I hold it here, and um, it's a whole torso, isn't it? Like yeah. it is a torso. It is, it is, it is really big. It's big. But but yeah, I, I feel like the whole sort of vibe with like the the dual sense and the feeling of haptic and stuff, it's just kind of wants to be this like immersive experience, like a Dolby mm. Atmos cinema vibe, yeah. where it's like you're playing the PlayStation, you're, you're booting at the PlayStation Studios games, yep. and it's kind of this like get immersed in the game, even with the 3D audio headphones, oh, yeah, which, which we don't look, have. But no, they look visually yeah, They do. The I, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's really heavy. Unfortunately, when I purchased my one, they didn't get their shipment of headphones, so mm. I was. Mm. I, I am looking to get the headphones. Mm. I want that that 3D. I think it works well because it is. It's immediately jarring, but even in like yeah. Call of Duty Cold War, right? Mm -hmm. We're playing that, and and pulling the trigger down on like a shotgun has a bit of tension to it. Yeah. But I think you get used to it quickly, where the gimmick kind of just becomes immersive, mm -hmm. and it yes. doesn't become a gimmick. Whereas and you like, start to forget. Yeah, whereas yeah. motion controls and all that, it, it always gets annoying after a while, it right? You, it, whereas, it takes you out of the mm. game to do a mini thing, but this is in the game, and it's happening whilst you're playing. Exactly. I'm, I'm waiting for that true test of a bowstring. Yeah, like, a, Ooh, like a, a horizon. Like, like a, like a yeah, horizon will do that really yeah. well. Yes, sure. I hope they do. But yeah, I recommend if you... When you get a PS5, the best the best experience for your haptics is Astrobot. Yes, it's gonna yes. be be a really good test for and all. It comes that sort free of with stuff. the PlayStation, and it, yeah, it's a really good mm. test to really wow you. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I really like the controller. I think it's 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 really great. I think it's probably one of the best parts about the the yes. the PlayStation yes. Five experience. And what about and you? You love the. A shout out to yeah. USB C. Yeah. Thank you. The micro chargers made me want to cry, and um, they always yeah. just sag, didn't they? They always just like always. Out. like it's this much is much more solid and snaps mm. in. Yes. But yeah. Uh... Now we'll get into the games. I don't want to talk too much about it because we played a ton of the games. We'll make separate videos of the games. Otherwise, they're going to be here for hours. So much to speak about. Because there, there is a, surprisingly a wealth amount, wealthy amount of games at launch. Some of them are cross plat cross platform, so they're yeah. on the PS4 as well as the PS5. Yes. But they get visual upgrades. Due to the PlayStation Immensely. Five and but, frame um, rate updates, yes, yeah. upgrades, yeah. yeah. And um, so we're just going to talk vague ideas about this. Like mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. like Astrobot, we've all experienced that to the full extent. Yep. That's great. It's a great experience that isn't just an experience. It's a full fledged game. Yeah. You wanna, yeah. It's yeah. fun. You want to go for it? It's a good eight hour experience, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's a yeah six to a five six yeah five six for me, but eight, you know, eight for me. <laughs> yeah, if you fall over and die like five times <laughs> yeah. every level, but yep. but yeah, I, I really like Astrobot. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I think it. It doesn't sell the visual aspect of next generation, but it sells the controller, which is a yes. massive aspect of it as well. A huge aspect so, of next gen. Yeah, so that's important. What, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I think there are other games that really show you the visual uh, yeah. aspect. Oh, there's, yeah, there's one in particular, I think, mm -hmm. that like, really sells it. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, definitely when you boot up your PlayStation, I think give Astro Bot a try. For sure, yeah, I, it's, it's such, it, yeah. such a it, it's it's kind of like it should it should make you do it when you boot up the, the PlayStation. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a good representation of what you're getting your hands into. So we'll jump into visual stuff about these games because we will do a first impressions later. But um, how do you guys feel about Demon Souls visually? 
Because <laughs> that's the big one they've been touting, right? Well, not touting, but it's like, I think that blew the most people away at the events that PlayStation have had, right? Yeah. I think it looks very good. It looks like, it's, yeah. it's jarringly good. It reminds me of those tech demos that you think never come out. Yeah, and also, like, you think it's never going to look like that, and mm. it looks like that. It stayed true to the demo that it showed. Yes. I was like, mm. wow. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I feel like this uh, Demon's Souls truly feels like next-gen mm. visuals and... Mm -hmm. uh, gameplay style with this uh, 60 frames per second or the the visual mode. Yeah, so fidelity and performance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, both of them have extremely big positives and uh, and yeah, I enjoy that. Yeah. It, it, obviously, there's the performance mode and fidelity situation with most of these games, whether it be Spider-Man or, or um, uh, Demon Souls. Mm -hmm. I think performance mode is the way to go. I think 60 frames per second really makes a difference. Yeah, and, it does. Yeah, and look, I we're not... I, I don't think as a channel we really... Well, none of us are that intelligible about the sort of like... Uh, oh, good night. You know, Digital Foundry or other channels out there are much more better at telling you about ray tracing and all these things. I, I, all I can tell you is game look good. Game look, look good. Game look good. Game run good. Game play good. Game play That's good. all I can say. It's good. It, it looks really good. It's very... Yeah. I feel like Demon's Souls to me is one of the games where I turn on my... Oh, yeah. That, 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 that feels to me personally next gen. Yes. Spider-Man yes. looks really great. I think the 60 frames per second does a lot for Spider-Man Miles yes. Morales. Yes. Spider-Man's ray tracing stuff is really cool. Spectrum. But I, yeah. I, but I also like that 60 frames per second. I can't take away I that know. 60 the frames. Yeah. Initially, I thought I was going to be very fidelity mm. heavy. Me too. But it's I like the, the, so before, well. the 60 frames does make a difference. It looks really <laughs> it great. It looks cool. Yeah, it, it looks, looks really great. great. It looks smooth. Yeah. Yeah. But um, what are we missing? We're missing the game. Uh, Sackboy. Sackboy. It's vivid. It's colorful. It's fine. It's 60 frames. Textured. Yeah. It looks so yeah. like... Literally, as good as I'm seeing this microphone's fuzz. Like all mm -hmm. the cat hairs and everything. The visuals of the games, they run great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They load fast. Um, the experiences are good. It's PlayStation, you know, I think you get good experiences. Yes, I think high quality. A Astro Bot and Sackboy are fun little family sort of games for your PlayStation 5. Oh, and I think thus far for me personally, Demon's Souls and Spider-Man have been really great. Mm -hmm like experiences they're just great like playstation studios are putting out great games yeah. and i still think they're at the top of the game here and it looks like ps5 is going to continue them just making great experiences yeah. right yeah i guess that's kind of my take we'll get more into the games later but what do you guys have any to say you want some fun you want to have some final thoughts on this big boy? Um, big boy my final thoughts would be i think it is undoubtedly worth every cent oh really uh i really do mm -hmm, i think mm -hmm. uh do you think now or maybe next holiday like do you think um, I guess... Because you could get... Sorry oh. to interrupt you, but you could get... The, um, you can get Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Sackboy and PS4. So you're getting Astro Bot mm -hmm. and... Demon's Souls. Demon Souls. Yes. Uh, there is good reason that uh, some people might not want to get it straight away, and that's fair enough. Mm. I don't uh, I don't think it matters when you get it. I just think it is an essential yeah. upgrade. I, I, got, I got what you meant. Mm. I think it... Uh, it's just going to keep coming with uh, some really high quality games and some really premium style games. And so far, uh, for launch, I didn't expect to have so much uh, content to make already, <laughs> let alone, uh, you know, to finish each of these games. I have a lot of hours ahead of me, and uh, that's, you know, within the first 48 hours. So yeah. can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, they, they've said a really good. I think they've sold their reasoning for next gen obviously yeah. all these things tie into money and stuff but i think that their schedule of games whether it be horizon or god of war ragnarok mm. or final yeah. fantasy 16 and so ratchet and clank and there's enough playstation goodness here that i think it justifies it yes. but i do view more on the it depends on one's finances and things but mm -hmm. exactly you know there's nothing wrong with waiting to, oh, no, the, to, to holiday next year yeah. Yeah. because you're still getting spider-man miles morales on ps4 and undoubtedly right it's the best on playstation 5 the difference is there. You can see the difference, but I don't think it's that jarring. It's still a great. It's still a great experience no, it, on the PlayStation Four, and same as Sackboy. But Demon Souls is great. But if you're not into that kind of game, I would say maybe wait a wait, maybe wait a while. Unless you know, it's, it's sometimes getting new tech is just fun in itself. That's so, yeah, the it's, spectacle it's, of it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Nick? Do you think it's what do you think? Do you th would you recommend people getting it off, off your first impressions? I agree with Jade in the fact mm. that it's worth getting it whether now or later because getting it now it yeah. will get better you know what yeah. I mean but it just depends on your financial it's obviously we're not going to go too in depth for people out there like there's tons of other channels like Digital Foundry and stuff but you yeah. guys we've uh, some people have asked for our thoughts on it but we like it it's big the games are big they really yes. look good yeah. the game look good game game run good game, 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 run good. game look good yeah game look good game run good game play good 
Yeah, that's I think need. it is definitely yeah. worth it. And that's the thing. It's like the size will, is a necessary evil to have no fan, next to no mm. heat, and like well, no fan noise. Sorry. Yeah. And and that's just, massive, and just yeah. beautiful yeah. running games. Like yeah. that, like you know, if it has to be that mm. big, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it doesn't have to be on a 4K TV. The TV that we have here in the gamer room is not 4K, it and it looks stunning it looks on nice. it. it games still so look good. good. Them, games still look good they on look this. Good. Yeah, it's good. And also, then, we yeah. didn't talk about the PlayStation Plus collection. We haven't really oh. dug that much into it. No. It's only our first impressions. We've only yes. had 48 hours, but we've seen it. We've we seen Bloodborne. In. We've seen the Bloodborne. We've seen the, the photo of it and attempted us. We haven't dove into it yet, but we will. Yeah, we will. Yes. But and yeah. bugs next. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We downloaded bugs next. We have yet to catch a snack a bug. Uh, nice. Snack bug. Get a snack, snack bug. Snack bug, snack bug, snack bug. Snack bugs. <laughs> All righty. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching our first impressions. Please do leave your first impressions in the comments down below. Uh, or if you have the Series X, please leave your first impressions on that as well. Uh, and yeah, let us know if you are interested in getting the PS5 and if and when. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>